Alright, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we're gonna continue the Archon Quest, the Immovable God and the Eternal Eusimia. No, the Itazuma quest line. Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself the trouble. Uh, can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. So this is the Vision Hunt decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Psst! Hey! Wait! Huh? There's someone trying to get our attention. Come on! This way! Uh, what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? There's her vision. Shh! Quiet! Just sit tight and watch for a moment. Hey! This isn't right, you know! Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit and watch others in trouble. Huh? Hey, wait! You do have a vision! Shh! If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have one much longer. <sighs> alright, alright. Here, take it. <laughs> Wise choice. Alright, let's go! What should we do now? He's already given up his vision! Doesn't he know what could happen to him after losing it? Ugh, this is your fault! You're the one who stopped us from interfering! <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost it. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. Oh, so that's what's going on here! And to think Paima was about to unleash Paimonial wrath on Miss Yoimiya! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the Summer Festival. <laughs> Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. That's quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Matsukatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> So, what about if I join you instead? Sure, welcome to the team! Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have meant you! <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do. Of you, know, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so, Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I've already surveyed the area and found a way in. Whoa, talk about a reliable source! Seems we've got the right person on our team! Not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Don't worry, Mr. Masakatsu. We're on our way. Time to break him out! Why does the pop-up teleport waypoint unlock sometimes? Huh? 
Hmm. How does no one notice that on her hip, though? Figured they'd figure out that she had a fake one. Hmm. Don't mind me, just going to the back. We've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. Let's find Master Masakatsu and get out of here. We should split up. I've got a little present to prepare for Master Masakatsu. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, you sure? All right, then. Just be careful not to get caught. Yes, uh, you too. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did upgrade this weapon a bit. Didn't upgrade Mona yet, though. I'll protect us. Not much for damage, still. But that's probably because she's a healer, not a DPS. Magatama is. Let's dance. I taste blood. Don't hold back. Oh, so so. Cool it. Man, a two handed ice guy would probably be busted. following me is that from the weapon actually uh normal tags have been able to go away oh yep doing more damage than I am. This wall looks a bit odd. Maybe there's some special trick to it. These guys seem a lot tougher than usual. Paima wonders if that armor over there has anything to do with the source of their strength. I hate that his ultimate ends if I was to switch characters. Dodge this! You cannot match my you must oh, withdraw! Don't hold back! Watch your step, bestie! I need to 
Like it hurt. Oh, it wouldn't let me sprint. Oh, it didn't hurt too bad, so it's all good. Teach me a lesson. Did he say teach me a lesson? Could I just leave? No. last one okay I was thinking I was gonna have to oh do I no he could follow me oh it's a puzzle <laughs> I can hurt him. And oh, that didn't reach. Damn, this is full of chess. trick of yours could fool us <laughs> locking you up was just the beginning <sighs> no oh no those ten Rio commission fruits are torturing him when the fuck did the she get here come up with a way to break him out fast and huh? yeah, Mia, when did you get back here yeah bye <laughs> uh, i can't bear to watch if anything happens to master masakatsu our whole plan will have been for nothing Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ma'am. We, we were just teaching him a little lesson, that's all. 
Huh? Who's that? That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. She's also a general in the Shogun's army. What's she doing here? Make way. Let me have a look at him. <sighs> I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. Yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Y yes yes ma'am. It won't happen again. Oh, Paimon sure wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Quick, go and investigate. Yes, ma'am. They're coming! Quick, hide! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't worry, I've got us covered. Time for my little present. Uh, fireworks! Huh? Was that an explosion? It, it sounded like fireworks. Quick, let's hurry! were enough to distract them. Uh, maybe more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to... Go overboard. Whoa! Guy, whoa! Uh, uh, yay, Mia. This is turning into a bit of a fireworks display. <laughs> Well, fireworks are my craft, after all. Every badge has to be spectacular. <laughs> Look, the coast is clear! Now's our chance! Eh. She's hiding in here somewhere. I wanna... What the hell's up here? Wait, this is where I came from. Maybe. She's definitely hiding somewhere in here. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets immediate medical attention. But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, well... <clears throat> you can bet we'll do all we can to keep that from happening. <laughs> Leave this place. Okay. So she's going to be really important to stop in all this, I guess. What a jump. Yeah, I'm going to jump. place yes finally I've made it out of there master Masakatsu how do you feel can you hold on don't worry I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over thank you all of you I'll take him to get treated I'll treat you to a round of drinks once this is all over don't worry about us just take care of master Masakatsu 
<sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Right, Kujasara. Do you think she was making up for how the guards were treating him? It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Commission. Oh, though Paima would never agree with their actions in the Vision Hunt Decree, of course. How about we go tell Ayaka and the others the good news? I want to know the story behind the vision, huh? Why? Why did she decide all of a sudden? That nobody could have visions. But yet, Kujo Sara has one. I see. So Kujo Sara stayed her hand. It would appear she still has some honor to her. I wonder if we should try establishing contact with her. Perhaps we could coax out some information. Unlikely. Don't forget, Kujo Sara is also carrying out the Vision Hunt Decree. She obeys the orders of the Raiden Shogun without question. In her eyes, Master Masakatsu is of no threat to the Decree. This is why she was so willing to allow his escape. If our true motives were ever divulged, she would act against us without a second thought. True. Though if you ask me, Master Masakatsu's release is an unexpected blessing. We are now one step closer to victory. And we couldn't have done it without Yoimiya and the Traveler. <laughs> You're turning out to be even more reliable than we expected. <laughs> Don't mention it. Indeed. Things may have turned out very differently this time without the help of the Traveler. But if we wish to mount any sizable resistance against the Vision Hunt Decree, there is still much to be done. It is time we make ready our next set of plans. There's no need to rush, my lady. Things seem to have taken a turn for the better, at least. Not only have we rescued Master Masakatsu, but our list of allies appears to be growing. Uh, yes, which reminds me. The Tenryo Commission seems to be making preparations for a celebration. They call it a ceremony of sorts. And the number of samurai out enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree seems to be waning. The days ahead may be more peaceful than usual. A ceremony, you say? Why would such a task be left to the Tenryo Commission? I don't know, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with us. Anyway, with the Tenryo Commission busy with preparations, we should have a little more breathing room than usual. Hmm, you do present a good point. Being in a constant state of alert will only tire us further. Perhaps a period of rest is in order. Toma, what would you suggest? I'd say a celebratory feast is in order. Might I suggest an evening of hot pot together? <laughs> Funny enough, I learned a new hot pot game recently. I'm sure you'll find it quite amusing. A hot pot game? What's that? Well, as long as it has to do with eating. Simply put, every person prepares an ingredient to add to the hot pot. Once the meal begins, we add all the ingredients together. Then we take it in turns to close our eyes, pick an ingredient out of the pot, taste it, and guess whose ingredient it was. Anyone who guesses correctly can go again, and whoever finishes the meal with the most points is declared the winner. Tradition even has it that the winner receives blessings from the god of Hot Pot. Don't you think it sounds like fun? <laughs> I've been wanting to give it a try. In fact, I've already got my ingredients prepared. You it's not you sound good. Play, huh? Well, sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Time to gather some ingredients. But what should we choose? Hmm. Well, I know he's probably gonna put something funky in it, so I'm gonna put something Ooh, funky in it. Proposes we gather raging demon level giant chilies, super salty ham, mist flower corollas. This is already shaping up to be a hot pot to remember. Oh, my stomach! It feels like you and Mia's fireworks are going off inside me. Who would have guessed that Toma would be the winner? He ate practically all those weird ingredients without a second thought. 
Uh, Toma? You okay, buddy? Salt-crusted herring, unripe lavender melon, flash-boiled dongo, oh, and whatever that thing was that nearly froze my tongue off. Uh, hold up. My life is starting to flash before my eyes. Time I call it a night, everyone. <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame, Toma. All those strange things you ate were ingredients you added yourself. But weren't you the one who added those little cakes, Ayaka? <laughs> I think the traveler ended up eating one. Ew. Boiling cakes in hot pot. Ugh. Think of the texture. I must apologize. To be perfectly honest, I thought the cakes would be a tasty addition. Uh-oh. I'm definitely not okay. Uh, I need to lie down. <sighs> I feel like a new man. You know, Toma, all you had to do was guess wrong on purpose and it would have been someone else's turn. Talk about being competitive. <laughs> uh, guess I've been feeling unlucky recently and wanted the God of Hot Pot's blessing. Perhaps I did get a little carried away. Still, I couldn't be beaten at my own game first time around. I think my luck has already taken a turn for the better. I can sense it. So without further ado, I hereby declare that the winner of today's Hot Pot Challenge is... me. Oh, brother. Ah, oh, good effort, team. Another important job taken care of. Next on the agenda, some well-earned rest and relaxation. Yes. If the Tenryo Commission truly is as busy with preparations as Toma claims, then some rest would be a welcome change of pace. And with the extra time, there are some other matters I wish to attend to. Let's all take some much-needed time off. After a few days' rest, we'll reconvene at the Komori Tea House and discuss our next operation. Downtime is hard to come by these days, so be sure to make the most of it. I'll tidy things up here and start thinking about our ingredients for our next round. <laughs> There's gonna be a sequel? Sure, why not? We should play again now that everyone knows the rules. I'll see you all later. Bye, Toma! Hmm. Seems we won't need to be visiting the Kamori Tea House for a while. Why don't we go explore some other places? <laughs> <laughs> Knew he was gonna trap it. Well, not trap it, but put funky shit in there. Hmm, where do we go from here? What's the plan? Traveler, Paimon, hold on. Huh? Ayaka? Something has come up, and I would like to request your assistance. That quick. In the time it took us to come outside. But you ought not be nervous. This is not coming from the Yashiro Commission or the Kamisato clan. It is my own individual request. Individual request? You mean personal stuff? Correct. It concerns my mother. This may seem a little sudden, but in my view, you are the only person I can entrust this to. A few days ago, I was sorting through some old family belongings when I found a notebook that belonged to my mother. She wrote about all kinds of things, mostly of little consequence. But what drew my attention was a name. It is one that I have never heard before, so the fact that she mentions it so frequently, it makes it difficult for me to ignore. Probably your mom's best buddy, right? Never. And although my mother and father passed away many years ago, both my brother and I are familiar with the vast majority of their acquaintances. So, I am very curious about this mysterious individual. I would very much like to meet them. According to the notebook, their name is Tsubaki. This seems to have been someone very important to my mother. Someone with a lot of personality, who liked to have fun. Paimon thinks it sounds like a girl's name. That's what I thought too. So what do you want us to do? Do you need us to find her for you? No, no. Her address is given in the notebook. We can head straight there. I wanted you to assist me with the preparation of greeting gifts. Please keep everything I have told you in strict confidence. The proper course of action would be to involve my brother and visit her together. But he is terribly busy at present and... 
On a more selfish note, I don't wish to involve anybody else from Inazuma in this matter. Exactly. That, and you are also a kind, well-mannered person with a genuine concern for other people. Not to mention trustworthy. I would not feel comfortable with anyone else in this situation. You can count on us! We've done greeting gifts before, so we should be able to help. In terms of payment, just treat us to some delicious food and we'll be more than happy. Wonderful! In fact, I was hoping to take this opportunity to show you both around, if you don't mind, of course. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind at all. Do we? Thank you kindly. Shall we head off then? Ogura Textiles and Kimonos is our first stop. Alright, sounds great! Play other quests to continue. This one. Status. Please don't enter without permission. Yeah. Hokuto decree. The vision hunt decree. Give me half a chance. What's the hurry? It's a festival promotion! Hey, speaking of, we haven't been anywhere fun since we arrived in Inazuma! N no what made you think that? <clears throat> Festivals are a common occurrence here in Inazuma. We in the Yashiro Commission are very well acquainted with these sorts of customs. Each season brings its own festival, and each festival in turn brings a fresh challenge to the task of maintaining public order. So, while festivals are undoubtedly joyous and lively occasions, for us, they are also a cause for concern. Oh, my apologies. I should stop thinking about work. This is hardly relevant to the matter at hand. This store here is the place I wanted to visit. Oh, so you weren't checking out the promotion? Well, let's take a look inside then. Welcome! I have all the latest styles. Please take a look. Oh! It's Miss Kamisato! With guests from overseas! Welcome to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos. Are you here to purchase fabric or for tailored garments? Oh! Greetings to you too! I have a design here for a garment. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Oh! Ayaka came prepared. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. This could be... Mm hmm It could be... Oh, it's a very fine design. Miss Kamisato, you'd like us to make a kimono following this design, yes? Please, if you could. I'm honored that you'd choose Olgura textiles and kimonos for your tailoring needs. However, there is one rather difficult problem. Based on the design, this kind of kimono would require silk made from the silk flower. The majority of Inazuma's silk is imported from Liyue Harbor, but given the current climate... As you well know, Inazuma is currently under a strict lockdown. In all honesty, the impact on the textiles industry has been quite significant. We're struggling to import high-grade fabrics. So much of our tailoring business has been put on hold indefinitely. But of course, where our customers are able to provide the fabric themselves, we can still be of service. So you're saying we need to go and buy some silk first? If even Ogura textiles and kimonos can't get a hold of high-grade fabric, where would we buy it from? 
You could try the International Trade Association. They are a little better connected than we are. After all, the association brings together merchants from all over the world. The only thing is their prices. They're not the cheapest. In times like these, though, we're lucky to even have an option of getting a hold of the things we want in the first place. Huh. So even just getting clothes made is an ordeal in Inazuma. Wait, the International Trade Association? That's Kurisu's thing, right? We haven't been to Rito in a while. Hmm. It looks like that will be our next stop. Thank you ever so much. We will be back once we've acquired the fabric. Oh, in the meantime, I have one other very small request. Could you? Why is she being so secretive all of a sudden? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Much obliged. My pleasure, Miss Kamisato. Honestly, I'm just as excited as you to see the end product. We haven't made a silk kimono for the longest time now, and this is a beautiful design. Hmm. That's very kind of you, thank you. Goodbye for now. Traveler Paimon, let's try our luck at the International Trade Association. Why aren't we making bank here right now? I mean... Was it here? No, here? Yeah. I got 33 of them. I'll go farm them if they will buy it for a lot of money. It, the International Trade Association. Okay, then. We need to talk to Karisu, right? Huh. Doesn't look like he's here. Let's look around. Look, look! There he is! Ah, huh. looks like we found him. What am I gonna do? Mr. Kurisu, are you alright? Oh, you're Miss Sayaka from the Kamisato clan. How do you do? Better than you, it appears. Uh, and if it isn't the Traveler, I haven't seen you in a while. I take it you've been out of Rito? Thanks again for your help last time. The association is back in business, and it's all thanks to you. That's great, but, uh... Why were you staring into space just now? Did something bad happen? Well, you see... <sighs> it's embarrassing to admit, but some of the Association's goods have been stolen... by vagrants. Which goods were stolen? It was a batch of high-grade silk. <sighs> we imported a big batch of silk from Liyue several years ago. It's been sitting in storage ever since. Recently, we heard that clothing stores in the city have more or less sold all their silk stocks. So we figured now would be a good time to bring our batch out of storage, thinking it'd probably fetch a good price. <sighs> but then, ugh, the vagrants swiped the whole batch, then disappeared into the woods. I'd report it to the authorities, but, <sighs> well, as you know, they don't think much of foreign merchants like us. The Kanjo Commission don't want to give us the time of day. <sighs> Honestly, you can just tell that our suffering amuses them. Well, I also take issue with aspects of the Kanjo Commission's operational methods, please remember, Mr. Kurisu, that while you are here in Inazuma, you should be careful with your words. Uh, oh, my apologies. I had to let off some steam. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be much we can do ourselves to get our goods back. <sighs> Perhaps I'm doomed to go bankrupt after all. I'm afraid I can't intervene in an official capacity, 
But I can still help you get your lost goods back. Of course, I would never... Wait, what? Huh? Yes. Acting in my own capacity, mind you. Even then, there is no escaping the fact that my every action and word will be seen to reflect on the Yashiro Commission and the Kamisato clan. I do so not without reservation, so... I hope that you will treat this matter as confidential. That aside, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm afraid that I won't always be able to help you in such circumstances. Given your position and that of the International Trade Association, please try to exercise more caution in the future. You do not want to incur further unnecessary losses. We will. We certainly will. But, um... Are you sure this isn't going to cause any issues for you? What if someone high up in the Kanjo Commission sees what you're doing and doesn't like it? You're a highly respected member of society. Surely putting your neck on the line for small-timers like me can't be worth the risk. <laughs> Very humorous. Let's not forget that I am the eldest daughter of the Kamisato clan. I would be very surprised indeed if anybody in the Kanjo Commission felt that I was accountable to them for my actions. Whoa, that sent shivers down Paimon's spine! Does everyone from a powerful clan talk like that? Mr. Kurisu, I need to know the exact time and location of the theft, and anything that stood out about the perpetrator's appearance. Thank you so much. Let's see, it was two hours ago now, over at the, um, uh... Everyone, please follow me to the scene of the crime. The investigation starts there. All right, off we go! Here we are. This is where we were robbed. Huh? A footprints. Very deep ones at that. Leading towards the forest. Hmm. Presumably the depth suggests that they were carrying something heavy. Let's see where they lead. <sighs> hmm. I don't know which way they went. What's the hurry? <sighs> See the footstep friends here. Okay, there they are. I guess that those are them. Stop, thief! <laughs> you think you can get your stuff back with this bunch? You must be dreaming. <sighs> Why, you... you better hope you have the courage of your convictions. Why wouldn't I, old man? Answer me this. You're one of those outlander merchants, right? You trade association types are worms. Coming over to our land, leeching off our people. Who's gonna leap to your defense, huh? Tell me, who's gonna stick their neck out for the likes of you? <sighs> Look at that. No response. You know I'm right. Face it. This is Inazuma. You've got no ties here. You're at the bottom of the pile. Can you really blame us for walking all over you? You are despicable. Hey! I just had an idea. Since you came all this way, how about we do some business? Business? Pay up, and you can take your fabric back. Sound good? If you ask me, it beats walking out of here with black eyes and a broken nose. <gasps> You're just a big bully! I... Uh, what choice do I have? Wait! Mr. Kurisu, please do not pay any money to this man. But... but... I trust you remember our agreement? If you keep your lips firmly sealed, I too shall uphold my end of the deal. 
Oh, yes, of course. Then please stand well back where it is safe. Now, it is time for me to honor my word. Okay, I like her. I... it was nothing. I was simply doing my duty. Miss Kamisato! Traveler! Are... are you hurt? Don't worry. We're fine. The vagrants left in quite a hurry. It would seem they didn't have time to take anything with them. I believe your stolen goods should all be here. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You'd best do a count. Six, eight, ten... yep, it's all here. Great! Now we can finally buy some silk! Buy silk? You mean you need some of the silk here? This was indeed our intent. Don't get us wrong, though. That's not the reason we helped you out. Even if it were just a few carrots or cabbages, chances are we still would have helped you get them back. Paimon thinks we're pretty lucky. If we arrived any later, our chances of getting silk in Inazuma would have been zero. I honestly can't thank you all enough. Please, say no more. You need silk? I'll pick out a piece for you right away. Thank you, good sir. How much do I owe you? Oh, it's free of charge. I could never ask you to pay after everything you've done for me. No, no, that will never do. Things cost what they cost, and what they cost is what I shall pay. Merchants already have enough challenges to deal with, and as Paimon explained, my help was unconditional. Please, sell your wares to me at the price you would sell them to any other customer. There is nothing to feel distressed about, because nothing, I repeat, nothing happened here in these woods today, did it? Thank you, I... I don't think I could ever repay you. You have helped me greatly, and I will never forget it. I'm, uh, I'm afraid we must part ways. I must get these goods back to the association. If you ever need anything at all, just come to the International Trade Association and ask for Kurisu. Very well. And thank you for the silk, Mr. Kurisu. See you then! Bye! Safe journey home! Don't go getting robbed again! Traveler? Thank you for stepping in to help out. But how come those vagrants didn't seem to know who you were? They must move in completely different circles. Maybe they've never seen anyone from the Kamisato clan before. Perhaps. Either way, I'm glad they didn't recognize me. The fewer people who know what happened today, the better. <laughs> it's not every day an important person like you helps out someone like Kurisu. It really shows what a great person you are. Oh, uh, your praise is quite unwarranted. I merely did what anyone in my position would have done. I admit that it did feel strange for me to come to his aid. But this should have nothing to do with identity or social class. As far as I'm concerned, it was one individual helping another in need. I guess that deep down, I don't see how a society can be considered just when people encounter such obstacles in their livelihoods. Uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic. Right. Let's head back to Ogura Textiles and Kimonos and give our hard-won silk to the shopkeeper. Okay! What's the hurry? Hey there, we're back! Welcome back! 
So, any luck at the International Trade Association? Did they have any silk in stock? Yes, they did. Here. Excellent news! So, apart from the silk, I think everything else I need I've got in store already. Uh, I just need to go and take stock of our materials. It won't take me a moment. I'll be right back. They better all be there! I do hope nothing else is missing. Traveler, on the subject of garments, I've been meaning to acquire a new outfit for you, too. It's just... I wasn't sure how you'd feel about the idea of dressing in Inazuman attire. Oh? Are you sure? Hmm. <laughs> Is that so? Impressive. So travelers of your stature hold themselves to a dress code, as well as a code of conduct. Hmm. More like when you're away from home, you've got to live by certain rules to survive, whether you like it or not. But Paima would still love to check out some Inazuman outfits. Just what is that supposed to mean? They make them in whatever size the customer asks for. <laughs> oh, your interactions are so adorable to watch. <clears throat> I mean, um, I can certainly find someone to tailor a Paimon size outfit if Paimon so wishes. Hmm. Well, if you're sure. As you wish. Something else I've been wondering is... How do people in other nations dress? Um... They sure do. Each nation has its own unique style. Traditional, fancy schmancy, casual... All very different, but each style is suited to its region. The study of clothing is a profound discipline, and I still have much to learn. When clothing becomes part of the expression of one's personality, even an extension of one's body, that is quite a wonderful thing. So I am not against dressing up. Far from it. Paimon agrees. You couldn't have put it any better. Paimon, you're so adorable that you could wear anything and it would look lovely on you. Wow! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I've checked my inventory. Thank you. Is there anything else you're missing? Fortunately not. I have all the materials I need. As for the size, would you like me to go by the dimensions given on the design? Yes, please. Understood. I'll get to work shortly. In total, that'll be... this much. Here you go. Is it possible to treat this as an urgent order? Well, luckily, we don't have any other urgents at the moment, so I can begin work right away. It will still take me some time, though, so please come and collect it later. Until then, I'm sure you'll find somewhere nearby to pass the time. Good idea! Let's check out the whole area! We don't want to leave any loose ends! <laughs> there will be no loose ends while you're in my company. I already decided where to go while we wait. For our next stop, I'd like to take you both for a meal. Food? Oh, Paima likes this plan. Mm-hmm. I picked the venue especially for you. A humble local eatery called Kiminami Restaurant. I thought that the relaxed atmosphere there would suit our day much better than the prohibitively formal one of a high-end restaurant. Shall we head off? Yep, yep. Paima can't wait! <laughs> All right. Mm, don't have much enough here, damn it. Well, I'm gonna call this video here. If you watched up to this point, thanks for watching. And I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.